Hi there, welcome to part 2 of how to navigate the CI Hub connector. This tutorial is about the results section with views and settings, how to add files and creating a CSV export. So let's have a look at these items. And I would like to start with views and settings. So let's have a closer look at the settings. You can customize your view. You want to hide folders, hide the names, or if you want to hide or show the conversion note tooltip. This tooltip shows which conversion settings are currently selected. I will explain this in more detail uh, later in this tutorial. You can change the preview size of the thumbnails by clicking these little radio buttons and I've created a workspace which enlarges the panel to the XXL view so let's switch to XL or XXL and it's kind of a light box so let's go back to our original workspace here we go the tile or, or the grid view is the standard view when you launch the panel. But as already mentioned, you have many options to optimize the view for your purposes. In the tile view, you can select an asset and right click to open a contextual menu. You can place and link an asset into a target frame. And if an asset is selected in the InDesign document, the contextual menu offers you to replace this asset with another one. That's how it works. And of course, you can save your asset locally. Now let's have a look at the list view. Now, there are some options. First one is you can sort by column, ascending or descending. You can browse through the folders, just like in the tile view. And when it comes to the settings menu, you see that there is something different so in this menu, you can add or hide columns. So let's add a column and you can reorder the columns by just dragging them into the right position. The number and availability of the columns always depends on the source system you are currently connected to. The list view uses the same context sensitive menu as the tile view. The next item I would like to explain is the Add files button and the menu. You can add your local InDesign document, which is currently opened. Create a PDF file and upload it directly with your preferred job options. And you can create an InDesign package, including the images. And of course, you can upload a file from your local computer. So as you can see, there is no need to switch to the browser or to your desktop to upload a file into your source system. But we can do even more with the CIR panel. What happens if you select multiple frames in the InDesign document and you click on Add File? Now you have more options. You can upload the InDesign document. You can upload the logo which is selected and you can create an InDesign snippet. 
A snippet consists of one or more objects and can be stored as a new object in the source system. A snippet can be placed in the layout and always remains editable. You can place a snippet in the layout by using the drag and drop function. So I'm going to delete this um, snippet because I don't use it. The add file function offers even more. An image selected in the layout can be copied directly from InDesign to a digital asset management system. So I'm switched over to my DAM system, click on add file, choose the active InDesign document and instead of the document I'm choosing the image. Click OK and the image is now available in the digital asset management system. Now let's have a look at the ZSV export. And this export works via this little icon, this table icon. Now let me show you how it works. You can select multiple files with the shift key or press shift key and drag a rectangle over the files you want to use. Then click on export, select the target folder, download files and open the export folder. Now when the export is done, this is how it looks like. Now the CSV export with the ZI Hub panel is an amazing feature and offers many more functions that are included in the InDesign standard. Now this is a small insight into the possibilities that are feasible with the CI Hub CSV export. Let's say we need to insert three products into an advertising template each month for each region in several languages. Well, this is how it works. But I will demonstrate the setup with some examples in a separate tutorial. And as I said before, these are all InDesign onboard tools in conjunction with the CI Hub plugin. There is no other software needed. You can find the How to Navigate videos part 1, 2 and 3 via the corresponding links on the info buttons in the CI Hub panel. So that's it for today. Thanks for watching, hope to see you in How to Navigate the CI Hub Connector Part 3. Bye bye.